So I just scanned her, and her problem is between L5 and S1. But what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna calibrate first, right? Show me the yes, show me the no. Permission to learn, yes. Permission to balance joints of the body except for the cranium, okay? And you're going to use molding and impulse. So we have that permission. So what you're going to do is you're going to find out where the joints are. are. Is the joint in the anterior torso? No. Is it in the upper extremity? No. Is it in the lower extremity? No. Is it in the posterior torso? Yes. Okay, anything more? Yes. So it's not the whole spine and everything. So is it the cervical that's the priority? No. Is it the thoracic? No. Is it lumbar? Yes. So it's lumbar spine. Anything more? Yes. Okay. So is it in the upper lumbar spine? No. Is it lower? Yes. Okay, so lower lumbar spine. So is it uh, L4-5? No. L5-S1? Yes. Okay, so it's that quick. So it's in the lumbar spine, L5-S1. Anything more? Yes. Okay. Is it the cartilaginous joint in front? No. Is it the facet joint on the right? No. Is it the facet joint on the left? Yes. Anything more? No. So what we're dealing with is a facet joint on the left between L5 and S1. So I can do some evaluations. I can pick this leg up and just feel the weight of it. I can do a, a leg pump. I'll come over here. This leg's heavier, a little bit stuck there. Come on over here and have a feel. Can you slide down just a little bit? Put that in your belly. You're gonna, come, you're gonna go straight up, see how far you go there? And then you're gonna pull back. See how easy that is? That's it. And then let's do this side. Okay, see how it gets stuck right there? Yep, and then pull back. See, there's a difference there on that side. Good. So this leg, as I lift it up, is easy. This leg is heavier. I feel that? A lot of times, the problems in your lumbar spine are going to affect the legs. Okay, let's have you roll on your stomach. Arms by your side. So, if I go to her iliac crest, there it is there. So, that's going to be L4. So, L5 is here. So, I'm going to come in here, and you can see if you want to come up, you can see there's a rotation there, quite significant. And if I go to L4 area, it's fine. See, that's okay, but look at that. That's a big difference, you feel that. So the right one is deeper, left one is more posterior. So that left joint is actually further back, okay? So let's have you lie on this side, face me. Bend your knees, good. So I'm just gonna evaluate range of motion. She likes to flex. Okay, and there's her extension, not too, too bad. Let's check rotation. Doesn't like going that way. Doesn't like going that way either, so she's kind of stuck there. And I can also check side bending, she likes that. Does not like this at all, okay? So this is tight. Where's Ryan? Come over here, Ryan. So palpate there. Put your hand in front, so you're gonna rotate, and you see, see, doesn't like that. And if you put your forearm there, doesn't really like that either. Now, if you put your hand on her initial tuberosity, she likes this side bending. See, she likes that. And if you put your forearm here, right, doesn't really like that too much. Okay? All right. So we've got enough evaluations. Is step number three a priority? No. Okay. So I can have her, you can just lie on your back. I can use this uh, spine as a focusing tool. Okay. So it's on the left side, it's the facet. She's gonna tap over the heart. So, I, so remember, in the lumbar spine, the facets are in the sagittal plane. So I can use that as a focusing tool and come out like this. And I'm gonna listen and follow, we're gonna do molding. So there we start to go, breathe in and out. And what I'm gonna do at the end is an impulse. And then breathe in. And a nice breath there. Good, that shifted. Breathe in. And out. Good, and breathe in. And 
out. Good. Roll on your side for a second. Face me. You're going to breathe in again. One specific tapping. And out. Good. So I'm going to check this flexion extension. That's wow. easier. And let's check the rotation. So look at this now. So when I do this, look at that. Comes forward. So Ryan, come over and feel this. So her side bending was good. Let's check this side bending. Look at that. So put your hands there and you'll notice forwards and backwards. And then, yep, put your heel here and you can see how it moves this way. And then here, go into side bending. See how much side bending she has there. Roll on your tummy. Okay. So there's L4. Look at L5. No asymmetry. Who felt that? You did. You can feel that. Well, that's better. Roll on your back. Come over here to this leg. Good. So already this leg is lighter. Look at this. Much better. How does it feel here? in your belly. See, look how far that's going. Who felt the heaviness? Good. That's a big shift there, that leg pump. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much.